There are always very strong stocks in the market, which means there is always opportunity to make money if you can find them. This stock is up over 40% in the last seven months, and I've literally heard no one mention it. This one up 45% in four months. And this one is up over 120% in just three months. I was able to find all these stocks using one special coding trick within Thinkorswim to build a custom scanner. And in today's video, we are going to build that scanner step-by-step step together so that by the end of it, you will have a tool that allows you to never miss these kind of moves again. Before we begin, if you use Thinkorswim, you really need to check out my website, daytradingstrategies.net, where for just $1.20 a day, you're going to get access to over 75 custom coded strategy studies and stock scanners that I utilize every single day. There's a link in the description down below. Go check it out today. My thesis for discovering strong stocks is number of consecutive days above a certain RSI value. So that's what I did. I came in and I created a new study, which we're about to do together, as this is the easiest way to visualize that a code is doing what you would expect it to do before hopping over into the scanner. So first step, I'm going to write declare lower as I would like this study to appear in the lower section of my charts. Now we are going to define a variable. I'm going to name mine RSI consec and we are going to utilize an if conditional statement so that we can use recursion, which is what this is called in codified language, to add to the count of this variable whenever the RSI is above a certain value. So I'm going to say if the RSI study is greater than 50, then, and this is where recursion comes in, I'm going to reference the variable value inside of the variable that I am creating this value in itself. It's kind of fun. So I'm going to say, then take the previous value of this variable and add one to it. Else I want to return nothing. Else if the RSI isn't greater than 50, I want this count to go back to zero and start over again the next time we do get back above 50. Then, of course, we're just going to plot this variable RSI consec. Now, I'll take, a, I'll take one moment here. You would think that you would just be able to plot this. Unfortunately, you can't. You get too early to access RSI consec. You can't do recursion within plots. That's why I have to define this variable and then sort of plot it separately. But who cares? If we go ahead now and hit OK and apply, you will see whenever the RSI actually, let me turn on the RSI as well for testing purposes, and let's set the upper level of the RSI to 50 so it looks nice and clean. Whenever the RSI is above 50, for every single bar that it is, there is a one plus being added to our count here. So you can see the RSI crosses 50 on or about this day on this ticker. And if we look using our draw tool, this says 76 bars since we got the RSI above 50 and it hasn't crossed back below. And our, our symbol here, our custom study is showing 74 bars. So working as expected, I probably just missed the exact bar that the, that the RSI cross actually happened on when doing my little drawing there. So seems to be working as expected. Of course, back here, you know, when you're above 50 on the RSI, the bar that crosses back below 50 resets our count back to zero. Honestly, now all the hard work is done. We have created the study. We have visualized that our code is working properly. This like study doesn't really matter. Like sort of who cares? Like you can just look at the RSI and see if it's strong or not, right? But where the value of this recursion statement comes in is we are going to copy this code uh, outside of the declare lower, and then we are going to hop into our scan tab. On the very far right of our scan header columns, we are going to click on this little cog. We are going to click on customize. What you're going to do, you're going to type in custom under your list of available items. You're going to see like custom one through 19 or something. I'm a psychopath. I've already used all of my custom columns, so I'm going to have to hijack 
an existing one. That's fine for this example. Then we're just going to simply paste in our code. And as I hit apply, and of course, make sure you add the column to your current set and okay, we can now sort this column top down. So I'm running a scanner here. This is my PPS buy signal scanner stocks with good volume that are getting the buy signal and at least greater than $5 today are returned here. And now I can have it sorted to see the stocks that have been the strongest for the longest. Duolingo is third on this list up 74 bars in a row. That's the one we were just looking at. PKG is first up something like 94 bars. I believe it was an absolutely insanely strong stock. ETR is another one absolutely insanely ripping stocks that just provide you with so much opportunity. You see a stock like this on a scanner, all of a sudden apply any dip buying strategies you have to these kind of stocks, right? Now, does that mean every time a stock pops up on this scanner, you're going to buy the dip and you're going to make money? Of course not. Never ever is that what that means. There's no such thing as that in this game, unfortunately, something you could just do and always works. But these are the kind of stocks you really want to be looking to buy dips on. I mean, just look at this move here. Let me zoom out a little bit. Look at this move here. I mean, the count on here got to like 35, 36, 40. You're already going, okay, this thing's been really, really strong for a long time. Look at the nice dips you got to buy along the way when this stock would have already been appearing on a scanner like this. And just to showcase, we're currently running this on the daily time aggregation. If I hop back into my code here, I can switch this aggregation. Let's look at the most consecutive RSI bars above 50 on the five minute chart. Instead, let's let all this load in. Wow. We have a stock here with 114 in a row being L N T H. This stock has been extremely strong for an extremely long time on the five minute chart. As you can see here, that is true. You can now utilize this information on intraday trading or really any time frame that you would like. Say you're, you know, you're much more of a longer term investor. Go ahead and bump this up to weeks or months. I'm actually sort of curious. What's the stock that's been the strongest for the longest for the most consecutive number of months? We've got one here, 66 months in a row. It's been above 50 on the RSI. That sounds kind of insane. Let's take a look at this thing. Oh, I don't even have a monthly time frame set by default. Hold on. Let me go to daily. Let me go to monthly. Let me go to max available. Let me zoom out. Wow. This stock is ridiculous. So this is a way if you're more of a long-term swing trader, you can go, Hey, this thing is re donkulously strong currently on a really big dip, but wow, look at this chart. So create a scanner that returns you the type of stocks that you like to trade, create this custom column so that you can see which one of them has been the strongest for the longest that are going to give you the most bullish tailwinds every single time you buy. Hit like if you learned something, subscribe if you would like to learn more. And remember, if you think this code or over 75 others just like it could help you make an extra dollar and 20 cents a day, then my website is nothing but positive ROI for you. Go check it out. Sign up today. Link in the description down below. With all that being said, I'll catch you on the next one.